transition between apartheid in America, which is where I was born, in Mobile, Alabama in 1960, and apartheid in South Africa, and then the comments about people not relating to what people of color would go through versus what a white person would go through, and that honest dialogue was appreciated because sometimes folks don't talk about it. Um, but I was with the Berkeley Students for Peace. I did Students Against Intervention in El Salvador. I was active in anti-apartheid. But when I was born in Mobile, Alabama, I brought my birth certificate because under race, it has the letter C for colored, and we didn't have a pass to carry around like you did in South Africa, but you just couldn't go anywhere right, in any area in Alabama and Mississippi. So when we moved to LA, we go to the South every summer, and we would experience apartheid across America. You can't go to that restaurant, can't go to that bathroom. When I was growing up, I would see the white only above the, the sign, and people now were like, what? This is in my lifetime. White only, restroom, and a, a white trucker was coming up and chasing us off, and dad saying, kids, get in the car. So we started to get a motor home, so we'd have our own food, our own wheels to sleep in, and we can get to grandmama's house safely from California to Mississippi and Alabama every summer for about 20 years, and I kept doing that. But so I just wanted to reflect on that real quick, and then also to say in 1982, when I graduated, we did have the anti-apartheid movement starting before the 85 and 86 stuff went down. Mm -hmm. We had green armbands that we wore on our um, mm -hmm. graduation robes. You can't see it from there, but pass around. This is in Zellerbach, and some of us stood out, did our demonstration in our own way as far as um, something that we actually thought they might try to confiscate our armbands that were calling out for divestment. And we also called for divestment as the ASUC senator um, in 79, 80? What year were we senators? They, they threw away our pictures. When they, when they blasted down the Eshelman Hall, they accidentally threw out all the pictures. Of, did you hear that? Did you know that? There's a lawsuit afoot or something. Anyway, that's really kind of sad. But, um, so, yeah, apartheid in America and apartheid in South Africa.